Well, looking around here, we can see that the entry to the apartment complex is relatively clear. An application of sand and the icer to the street, mostly calcium chloride if I'm not mistaken, just white pellets, seems to have cleared up the entry despite the temperature staying below freezing. Here's the patio near the clubhouse. You can see snow accumulated on the handrails of these concrete walls. The front lawn is completely covered. That's Lake Sammamish there through the trees. Thankfully it's not snowing or raining. Let's see. That's me. Hi. I have uh, insulated gloves that are heated like this. Keep my hands warm. Wearing, wearing thick boots with a tread pattern. So there's some slippery spots on this trail. So, I've been sliding around, but doing it for exercise anyways. Hey, thanks for watching my video. All right, we can see the bottom there. There's the street with those expensive condos. Just for reference, it's about 28 Fahrenheit outside, just below freezing. And the sky has just been this beautiful wispy cloud formation with full sun all day. What a relief. All the cars were melting due to the greenhouse effect. A car is effectively a greenhouse. It's windows and a metal box. So if sun goes inside, it heats the interior and heats up the car. Now I'll leave this on here so you can see the trail header and I'll zoom into the map so you can see where we're at right here. And this engraved sign right here tells you the name. We're the Big Tree Ridge Trail right there in King County. And it tells you the distance to these other main points. And over here, we can see that this is the trailhead right here. The Big Tree Ridge Trailhead is at 89 feet. And we were hiking up towards Harvey Manning there at 1400. So it's a steep little stretch. Now this is part of the Cougar Mountain Wildlife Reserve here. And if you zoom out, it's called the Cougar Mountain Regional Wildland Park. It's absolutely massive. Um, goes all the way over to Newcastle, up to Bellevue, down to Issaquah. And it's got lots and lots of trails to hike. Boy, those steep parts were slippery in the snow though. Here's an events calendar. If you wanna see things that they held here. These were all in 2021, so they're over with. But um, this is the kind of things they do here. We can see a small version of the big map right there, uh, produced by the King County Parks Department, your big backyard. And then this is an explanation of the map legend kind of updates and it's a great big green and quiet place so we're next to the roadway down here which is why you hear cars driving by well thanks again for watching the video hope you guys have a lovely day and happy new year's 2021 hope 2022 is a better year than 2021 for most people so this is near the bottom of the trail and I'm just doing a pan here so you can see the forest scape. There's the bottom where we just came from. And we're going in reverse order here, so we're going to be hiking up towards the top. And I've cut, modified, speed edited it. To actually, a little artwork there, Nature's Forest is artwork. Um, this is called zoom, zoom cutting, so I did a couple seconds, hiked forward, couple seconds, hiked forward, couple more seconds, hiked forward, couple more seconds. That way you get real time. You can hear me walking in the snow, but we cover more ground faster. And that way you can see the trail covered in snow, something few people will actually see. Though there's enough uh, actual foot impressions on this path that 
We can see quite a few people hiked it, though as we get towards the top, the number of foot impressions in the snow greatly diminish. Just listen to the wind here. You can see Lake Sumash through the trees here, over that way. Beautiful color with the sky. That's kind of a idyllic view. One of the advantages of going hiking is that you get to see nature in all of its splendor and glory, just like that. So this is eye level. Down at the bottom of this maybe 400 foot ravine here is a stream where the melting snow is heading towards Lake Sammamish. Just listen. In this section of the trail, we're a little closer to that stream down there. Just listen. Look at this beautiful view heading east here. As we ascend the hill, you can see the sun hitting the mountaintops out there. It's an exquisite color, kind of a orange color contrast against that dark base that is just exceptional right there especially look at the sky you zoom out here look at the sky today what a miracle more snows on the way though tonight well this stick saved my life in those switchbacks even with it i biffed once sliding so if you ever get stuck on a steep trail in the snow, get a one inch diameter stick that's kind of strong like this. I lucked out and found one, and that can help you get past the really steep spots where you're likely to biff. To give you a, to give you a sense of scale, here's the stick. I'm about six feet tall, and it's taller than me. I also have to point out this beautiful lichen that's growing on here. These uh, kinds of plants grow on the limbs of trees. They're beautiful, absolutely stunning. One more look at the winter wonderland. We're down near the bottom. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that something? All the trees are flocked by snow. I don't know if you can tell from this trail surface, but there's a lot of people that walk on this stuff. 
see all these footpaths. Going for a walk is healthy. It's good for your sense of balance, your stabilizer muscles, your heart, which increases blood flow to your brain. This is a somewhat popular road. You can see they've cleared it by applying de-icer and sand. A little dirtier than normal, but uh, overall that makes it easy to get around. I usually take a shortcut back to the apartment this way through Sammamish Point. You can see over here on the side streets, the tire traction pattern where there's compact snow and ice. If you slam on your brakes, you'll slide. So the trick is just light on the brakes and steer. If you find yourself sliding, gentle on the brakes, no stabbing the brakes, just steer yourself, come to a controlled, gentle stop. If you slam on your brakes, you'll slide. That's one winter driving tip. All right, cheers guys, safe travels. Here's a useful example. If you have a choice between walking on crunchy ice and snow like this, or a sheet of ice like that, you're much better off walking on this as the deformation of your shoe's input pattern can produce more traction in this kind of rough surface.